Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. It's been a little longer than usual. I tried to post updates everywhere I could, uh, so here on the YouTube community tab and over on Instagram stories, but a few weeks ago, I decided to make a kind of radical shift in my content schedule and move away from an output-focused mindset to an input-focused mindset. Um, and later in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean by that and how it's been working out for me. Uh, but first, about the timing. I'm really sorry I didn't announce this in a video before I did it. Um, it was something that I was thinking about for a while, but the decision of when to do it was kind of out of my hands. Our household got hit with a pretty horrific case of the flu. Only my husband survived unscathed, uh, but the rest of us ended up with like coughs, fevers, sore throats, and also conjunctivitis and ear infections. I ended up popping an eardrum, which has only ever happened to me like twice before. Um, it was so disorienting. I only got my hearing completely back in that ear after like two weeks and antibiotics. It was incredibly frustrating and uncomfortable. Uh, so I couldn't talk properly. My eyes were jacked up. I just, I didn't have the energy to even think about my video schedule, let alone stay up late, miss out on rest in order to film. So I made the decision to just do it cold turkey. I made the change. I communicated it just on community posts and stories instead. So I'm sorry about that. I, I know from experience that you would all understand and be super supportive. That is something that I so appreciate from those of you who follow my videos and comment such encouraging things. You're the best and I love you. So um, I was sick, but it was really getting time to make the change anyway, since I'm always so exhausted during my first trimester. Um, yeah. If anyone was eagle-eyed enough to notice in the last video that I did pu publish, uh, which was my April flip through, I very awkwardly skipped a few pages with like, I don't want to tell you about that yet. Um, but if you had paused, I think you would have been able to tell it was insert 40 from the shop, the pregnancy tracker bundle. So yeah, we're due in early December with baby number four. Um, and I'm about 12 weeks now, so I'm getting closer to the light at the end of the tunnel. But from experience, I just know that like my job this early in pregnancy is just to nap as much as possible because I get so tired. Um, so anyway, this mindset shift and schedule change and all of that, what's that about? Previously, I had been sticking to a pretty rigorous content schedule, but I've been sticking to it really well. Uh, but there was one longer video on Thursdays and then Instagram photos on Wednesdays and Sundays and reels on Mondays and Fridays and then the YouTube shorts, which were like repo repurposed reels and clip versions of longer videos. Those were on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then there was like a poll on Tuesday. I honestly wonder if any of you noticed 100% of that. It was It was just starting to feel like a lot of busy work and I simply didn't have time to devote to getting any of it to a high enough quality that I could be really proud of anything but just the sheer volume. Uh, I am proud to say that I never missed a deadline, but it wasn't really sustainable. I'm a one-woman operation, um, and if you read my newsletters, which by the way, sorry, I also skipped April's newsletter, you'll have been following the saga of my latest shop update. Uh, you can now buy printed inserts physically like from the insert page instead of going to a separate listing. It's just a lot more streamlined and easy. Anyway, it took three times as long as I wanted it to because I just wasn't able to devote the time I needed to to my printable shop or my website. I haven't posted a new insert since November, I think. I don't like that. We moved twice, so things were pretty crazy, but we're settled in pretty much now. Um, and if it wasn't going to be sustainable now, it was never going to change by itself. So I dropped the entire content schedule, all of it. I went through, I removed all the deadlines from every existing video project in Asana. There's nothing due at all. Not even the Thursday videos, which I've been posting religiously for like six years or something. Instead, I'm making a time-blocked production schedule. It's really simple. It's just one night a week devoted to videos and content. That's it. Uh, one night towards insert designs and website updates and stuff. Then one night towards like marketing, brand growth strategies, that kind of stuff. I'm also budgeting nights for my marriage and my hobbies. And notice I said nights. I was stressing myself out way too much trying to fit this stuff into my days with my kids around, especially with like my part-time napping job right now. I am a mild-mannered full-time mom by day and then three nights a week you can call me Gucci Plans. Honestly, I don't get paid enough by this side hustle to keep it in the center. And it's been going pretty well so far. I mean, I really like the work-life balance that it's been offering, the ability to focus on my marriage, my kids, my home and just my mental health over the productivity. Um, my hope is that I'll be able to focus on quality over quantity to my videos and produce stuff that I'm genuinely proud of. 
Um, the, I am going to still throw up an easy planner flip through once a month because those are the easiest videos for me to do anyway to make. And they always get the most views of anything I do anyway. So I was really worried that abandoning the content schedule would make me lazy and that I'd use it as an excuse to like perfectionize the video process and then never release anything. So I guess judged by like how many weeks it took me to get this out, you'll be able to tell whether this is having a negative impact or not. Um, I hope that the quality of this video maybe speaks to the effort it's worth. I put a little extra effort into like the lighting um, and the script, uh, but I'm going to try to stick with this schedule for a while and see where it takes me. If you care about what I'm doing here with Ganshi Plans and want to lend your opinions to the decisions I'm making about what's in the content, um, please, if you haven't already, you can go check out the polls that I posted. So there's a bunch on the YouTube community tab on my channel page. If you click my channel name down there and then the community tab will be at the top. Then you scroll down until you see me looking all sick and pathetic um, and then you scroll back up and from there and you'll see the, the polls. And then also over on Instagram, especially if you follow me there also, um, I have a story highlight on my profile with more poll questions that are kind of specifically about Instagram. And speaking of Instagram, I have stopped posting there too, except for stories. I've been trying to post more stories over there and keep you guys updated to make up for the lack of like everything else. If your 8,000 closest friends wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then I'd be able to post stories on this app too. But um, until then, zuck on that, I guess. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for your support and your patience. It means the world to me to know that you are going to be there for me when I do come back, if I have to take a break. Um, I am very excited for what's in store in the future. Uh, if you have specific uh, content ideas, do please leave those in comments. And in the meantime, stay subscribed and I'll see you uh, next week and the week after for a couple of flip through videos. All I can tell you is a sort of sneak peek is that there have been changes to my planner. So you'll get to see those over the next two videos. And then after that, who knows? It depends, I guess, on my energy and motivation and time. So have a productive day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.